Did you know that African Americans are twice as likely to be inflicted with Alzheimer's disease? This is a show that you need to watch. Today I'm here with Dr. Martinez and Dr. Baez from Columbia University Medical Center. Dr. Baez, Dr. Martinez, welcome to Legitimate Matters. Thank you so much. Thank you. As I mentioned, this is a topic that is really, really close to me, so it's such a pleasure uh, to have you on the show. Uh, I know that you work for the research department for Alzheimer's disease. Please, uh, Dr. Martinez, tell me what it is that you do in this study. Oh, uh, well, and we are in my, like, I coordinate this study for the African American um, population. We have several groups mm -hmm. of several studies right now going on for Alzheimer's disease, and I am coordinating uh, the African American group. Uh, what I do, I do educational events, so because we think it's very important for people to know exactly what are the early signs for their mm -hmm. disease, because most of the time, they think this is normal because they have mm. somebody in their house that is um, 80 or 70s and they are acting crazy and they said this is normal because they are just getting old. Right. So mm, I'm doing so many outreach, you know, a workshop, but at the same time I do uh, the evaluation at home mm. and I am trying to help to build up more African American being part of this big big important topic that is Alzheimer's disease so that actually mm -hmm. affect twice mm -hmm. to the African-American population. Wow, wow. So African-Americans are twice as likely yeah. to come down with the, with the disease yes. and you're also uh, saying that the studies that you do can be done either at the hospital or it could be at, at home. Yeah, right. we, we go and do BC at home if mm -hmm. they want to do that because there are certain people they don't want to travel, you know, mm -hmm. New York City is like a kind of difficult city to right. travel in. Mm -hmm. So um, certain older people, they want to stay home. So we have that flexibility. We can go home and do the complete evaluation in I their see. home. Mm -hmm. And we can also, let's say they want to travel and they want to have the experience in our hospital, we also can do the evaluation there. I we see. Yeah. And uh, Dr. Baez, you are part of the research as well, yes, but you, have, you, you work in a different side of the study. Is that correct? You're correct. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you so much for receiving us here in Legitimate Matters. And what we are doing also is that I'm the clinical coordinator for the early onset Alzheimer's mm -hmm. disease study. It has been shown that there is a 5% of the population that has Alzheimer's disease has early onset mm. disease and that is below the age of 65. It's just a little percent, but we have seen that it's genetically linked, and we are looking for families that has this in in their generations. I see. I see. Well, as I mentioned, uh, my grandmother had Alzheimer's disease. Uh, I was able to uh, witness uh, up close and personal what it does to the family. So today, I'm here. Uh, and I'm here to go through the evaluation myself. Yes, and, uh, and we, we are pleased to be here. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to bring the viewers in. I want to bring you, uh, the viewers, into this conversation because as mentioned in what we're saying is that African Americans are twice as likely uh, to have the disease, uh, but they are the least participants in the research study. So here I am, African American, here I am uh, a male uh, with a history of Alzheimer's disease within my family. I'm hoping that you as the viewer will view this as a wake up call to become part of the research and certainly to have your family checked. So I'm going to let you, Dr. Martinez, take it away from here in terms of what's next in this process. Yes, so when we go just want to say thank you for inviting us, invite sure. us to our, your house to do mm -hmm. this evaluation on you. Um, 
We are going to go over the consent form. That's mm -hmm. the first part we do when we go to evaluate one person that okay. wants to participate. So the consent is just to make sure with the IRB that you really, I explain to you all of the detail about mm -hmm. the study, what are the important of the study, where are the blood collected, where all of the information that we collect, how it is, how is the process of that. Mm -hmm. So I already talked with you about what is important of we in the in the study, and right. you already explained to the public here, <laughs> to your audience. Mm -hmm. um, and we today, what we are trying to do with you is trying to go in and see in your background, like you you you, right. sa you say that you have your grandmother with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So um, we are going to check in your genes, and we are going to compare that gene with all of the African American population. Does that mean that I can give you report on the genes, mm -hmm. in, uh, specifically what gene do you have? Because right now, we if we do that, we would not have anything giving you that because there is not medication right now for the disease that can be cured or prevented. Me, if I give you the result of your genes evaluation, mm -hmm. um, you will not do anything with that. So that's why we will not give you a report So there's on no the purpose block. for it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we also, I have to explain to you that the, the biological example is the identifier. So I see. the blood that we are going to be collecting today, because we are going to do three parts. One is the medical evaluation that Dr. Bias is going to be doing. Okay. I'm going to do the cognitive test that is going to measure your um, memory and okay. your age. And we will compare that and we will score that with your, like with scale we have for I see. that. Okay. And we are going to draw the blood and this is going to have a number so mm. that blood is very important that everybody know that is de-identified mm. meaning that there is not name on it if you see here you have a number like I see um you have a number right now I don't have your name here right. even you're going to sign this you have a number so your blood is going to go to our labs with the number nobody will see who are you who where do you live what is your social security number they would not know anything and so, that's one of mm -hmm. the issues that most of the people encounter they think oh i don't want to participate because they can use my information for so other things but this is completely confidential this yes. is completely confidential mm -hmm. and uh, we have to we have to take care of that sure all right so what i want you to do i want you to sign the consent if you have any question of mm -hmm. course i can address that right now but i would like you to sign the consent um with the explanation that i have give you here is like your participation and the date today's date if you have any question we can um go over that Wonderful. Well, for the sake of my viewers watching, I just want you to know that I have read through the evaluation and I'm going to go ahead and sign. And this would be one of the first steps that we would go through before we could uh, get the evaluation going. Yes. Wonderful. Perfect. All right. So this is the participant consent form. Mm -hmm. So as you said, previously we discussed that by phone. We, you read over, you have the question, but if you have any question, even during the evaluation, you can go over and we can address that. Wonderful. And this is the HIPAA form. The HIPAA form is like the clinical research authorization. It's like research. We are, as researchers, we have to protect your information. I see. So, and by HIPAA rule, it, we have to do that. If we don't do that, we can be in trouble. Right. So, this form protects you. Okay. For us to not disclose your information with anybody, only the people, the data is going to be um, shared with our research people in our center. Okay. Okay. So, um, if you have a question about HIPAA, I can answer those. But um, I think that most of the people know I'm what is HIPAA. I'm very clear on it. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you just have to, and you already read too, so you can sign here and place the date. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Perfect. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to. Let Dr. Bice to be with you. He, she's going to do some medical questionnaire okay. and physical exam. And after that, I cannot be here, so she's going to be with you a lot and asking those questions. And after she finished, I will do the cognitive test. Wonderful. Do you have a question? Not so far. I think that this is very clear. Thank you. Oh, okay. Wonderful. So thank you so much. Right. Okay, so we're going to go to break right now. And when we come back, we are going to move forward with the cognizant 
Cognitive. No. Cognitive. Medical evaluation and then with the cognitive test. We're going to move forward with the medical evaluation and then the cognitive test. Yes. This is Legitimate Matters. We'll be right back. Alzheimer's disease is a form of dementia specific to memory loss. 5.3 million Americans over the age of 65 are affected. Apart from memory loss, an individual's reasoning skills, planning, language, and perception are also affected. Alzheimer's is not a normal form of aging. There is no cure for Alzheimer's. There are effective treatments for symptoms that slow down the effect on mental functions. Alzheimer's is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States. One in every three seniors die by Alzheimer's or a different type of dementia. Alzheimer's is one of the most expensive diseases to treat, costing $236 billion in 2016. Every 66 seconds, somebody develops Alzheimer's. By 2050, it would be every 33 seconds. How can you help? The caretakers for Alzheimer's develop emotional stress and depression. You can help by sponsoring caretakers through different Alzheimer's organizations. Thank you. Hi, this is Reverend Cecil B. Stone uh, here on the set of Legitimate Matters. What a wonderful conversation we've been having today. Tune in and let's continue this great conversation. Hi, welcome back to Legitimate Matters. This is William Paris. We're talking about uh, Alzheimer's disease and now we are moving forward with the physical examination. So, Mr. William, what we're going to do right now is we're going to take your blood pressure, listen to your lungs, listen to your heart, and also we're going to do the, in the neurological examination, we're going to test your cranial nerves and your reflexes. Okay. So I want you to go through the indications that I'm going to tell you and you're going to follow them. Okay. Okay? So I'm going to stand up and now I want you to look here mm -hmm. in the middle mm -hmm. and you're going to stay looking at my nose because this is going to move and mm -hmm. with your eyes mm -hmm. you're going to follow wherever it moves, okay? So I'm going to follow, I'm, I'm going to look in this direction but my eyes are going to follow your eyes are going to follow this, mm -hmm. and you're going to go and see my nose. Okay, 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 all right. So we can do like a trial just okay. to see if you understood, okay. and then we follow, okay? Okay. You can look wherever it goes. Okay. Did I do it right? Yes, you did. So now I'm gonna I can follow instructions. Yes, you can. <laughs> so now I'm going to listen to your heart mm -hmm. and then to your lungs. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Excuse I want you to lean a little bit forward, and I'm going to listen to your lungs right now, okay. and I want you to take a deep breath. Again. 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 Okay. Commonly on our physical examination, mm -hmm. we take more time with mm -hmm. the cranial nerves examination and the reflexes, but for the purpose of this uh, program that you have for Alzheimer's, we're just going to leave it here. Okay. okay. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I hope you've been following us with this examination and this evaluation with Alzheimer's disease. If you're just tuning in, this particular episode of Legitimate Matters is about Alzheimer's disease awareness. 
If you're African American, we want you to stick with us and follow this show because African American African Americans are twice as likely to come down with Alzheimer's disease than than whites. Uh, the devastation that Alzheimer's disease causes in the family, um, it just trickles to just not the person, but family members, loved ones. It's absolutely devastating, and it is on the rise. So this is to help you to understand what's involved in the examination and why this is the disease that you should pay attention to. People are dying from Alzheimer's disease, and the number of cases that have been diagnosed are on the rise. This is truly an epidemic, and this could affect you sooner or later. Please pay attention. Legitimate Matters, I'm William Paris, your host, and we'll be right back. I'm B. Smith, and I suffer from Alzheimer's disease. Brain disease affects millions. Unfortunately, minorities are underrepresented in research, so we may not be getting the best possible care. The Brain Health Registry collects vital information online for free. So please tell your story. I'm telling mine. Help find cures faster by visiting brainhealthregistry.org. Five million Americans are living with Alzheimer's disease, and another 16 million husbands, wives, children, and friends are caregivers. But the right foods may help you prevent it. Vegetables, fruits, whole grains, beans, the same foods that fight diabetes and heart disease can also keep your brain strong and memory sharp. Let's eat right to fight Alzheimer's. Visit eattofightalzheimers.org. Welcome back to Legitimate Matters. I'm your host, William Paris. We're talking about Alzheimer's disease, and Dr. Martinez from Columbia University Medical Center is now about to give me the cognitive, which is the memory test. Yes. So um, before we start the test, I just want to let you know that it's going to take us at least 40 minutes to finish the test, depending on your um, speed. Okay. Um, I would like you to be focused, meaning like if you, have, if you are expecting any call, I would like you to turn your, your phone off. Or okay. if, you, if you want to, you know, try to be, give me those complete 40 minutes as focused as you can. I understand. Okay. Have you ever had cognitive or memory test? I have not. Okay, great. So this is a memory test, as I explained to you. We are gonna do certain um, amount of evaluation or testing your memory. Um, you are gonna see that the memory, the memory test is gonna be, it's gonna start early, like easy, and then it's gonna be hotter and hotter and hotter. If you feel you are not doing well, doesn't mean you are bad. Okay. First, I will read the words and then you will tell me the words you remember. Okay. Then I will remind you of the words that you did not say, and I will ask you to tell me the whole list again. That is, the words you say the last time and the ones I reminded you of. Oh. We will do this several times. Each time you will try to tell me the entire list and we will remind you of the words you left out. Do you understand that? I understand. Okay. So the first time I read the list of, I list and I would like you to repeat each word out loud. So be sure I said them clearly enough. Are you ready? So you'll say the word and then I'll repeat the word? Yeah. Okay. I will read the word, you repeat the word after me so I can out loud so I can be sure that you understand the words okay. that I said. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes. Okay. Three. Three. Linda. Linda. Film. Film. Disagree. Disagree. Love. Love. Vain. Vain. Bean. Oh, bin. Mm -hmm. Bing. Street. Street. Cake. Cake. Dog. Dog. Park. P park. Part. Part. Tiny. Tiny. Well. Well. Great. So, now tell me all the words you can remember. <laughs> Three. You have 60 seconds. Okay. 
three, Linda, part, uh, three, Linda, part, I, I honestly don't remember more than that. You have some more seconds to go over, so try to do it. Did we say any colors? No, we didn't. Three, Linda, part. I don't remember any more words than that. I remember three, Linda, part. Okay. Now I will, I will mm -hmm. tell you the word you did not say. Okay. And you don't have to repeat them. Back. Okay. Just mm -hmm. listen to the words you haven't said, and then you will try to say the whole list again. Okay. Film, disagree, love, bean, street, well, cake, dog, tiny. Now tell me all the words you can remember. Film. Ben, disagree, tiny, Linda, three, I said Ben, street, film, and I said three, I said Linda, That's it. You still have a few seconds, some time left. Film, Green, Linda, Ben, Street, three, the same things keep coming back to me again. Okay, stop. Mm -hmm. So now I will remind you of the words you did not say okay. and then ask you to try to recall the whole list again. Love, well, cake, and dog. Now tell me all the words you can remember. Love, well, cake, dog, three, Linda, Ben, film, three. And I said Ben, Linda, film, dog, three. Love. What am I missing? So now I will remind you of the word you did not say and then ask you to try to recall the whole list again. Disagree. Street. Part. Tiny. Disagree part tiny street. Disagree part tiny street film three Linda Ben love Ben film love street Linda three disagree dog. First of all, I'm very happy to be a part of the research and the study. I hope I encourage others uh, to be a part of this as well. Uh, it really was challenging for me uh, simply because, first of all, I'm a very busy person always, and I really rely so much on recording and keeping things in places where I can find them, like my telephone. I knew when you mentioned that I was going to have to memorize uh, words and numbers in some type of uh, sequence, that that would be a challenge for me. I knew that because that's, that it's just something that I experienced. But nevertheless, I think that this uh, study is very important uh, and it helps, it, and I don't know exactly where this will go um, as I continue going through the study, and I will go through the study. And for those watching, I want you to know that uh, as much as we have to uh, uh, follow certain uh, laws and, and, and practices, 
uh, and that we can't reveal everything to you, um, I do want you to know that my participating in the study and going through this particular test is for real. This is something that I am actively um, participating in. It's something that I am going through uh, to determine whether or not I myself am carrying this gene or whatever the study will be able to determine in the long run. And I'm going to share that with you in time. This is Legitimate Matters. Keep watching and please, by all means, get involved in the study. Speak to your family members. And if you're African American, please take this serious because it is serious. And again, uh, eight out of 10, how many people? It's, well, twice as many African Americans are uh, afflicted with Alzheimer's disease than, than whites. So I hope that I've been an encouragement for you. I'm you know, that I just want to add, like mm -hmm. many persons, when I go and visit them, they ask me, do I have to be evaluated again next time? So I always said then that after two years, we will contact them again. But okay. every year, we um, have a newsletter okay. where we inform them what we are doing, what are the things that have been done. Okay. So it's just like, it's not part, just participating, in mm -hmm. it's actually advocating for something that is, doesn't have right now. Do not have cure and mm -hmm. do not have prevention. There is no cure and no prevention. And actually, mm -hmm. it's putting a hard time for the public health system because mm -hmm. it's costing a lot. Mm -hmm. and we know that in the future, the expenses is going to be triple, triple. of what it is right now. Mm -hmm. So I just want to leave that message. If you can be an advocate, you want to be part of this, I will suggest just go and do it. Because it's nothing hard. It's just putting in effort, and it's not cost you anything. And you don't have to, your insurance is not being charged, will not be charged. And actually, if you have to travel, and we, we give you like a reward, like you know, compensation. A reimbursement yeah. for the travel? It's mm -hmm. not like a pain, but it's just like a, to help because we it's know New York City sometimes is kind of expensive, but mm -hmm. um, we do reimburse. Before and you'll go time. to homes as well? Yeah, and we go home. Wonderful. So. And actually, we travel all U.S. And you travel all over all the US. US. So you could live in Arizona, you could live in Los Angeles, you can live in Boston. You will go to where they are. Yes, and you don't have to have a family history. And you don't have to have family history. And you don't have to feel you have memory problems. Either. And you don't have to feel you have memory problems. You just so have to be an African American. You just have to be African American. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. Dr. Martinez, thank you so much. Yes. I really appreciate you taking time to be a part of Legitimate Matters. Um, it's Our my pleasure, pleasure to be um, in, involved in this program. Yes. William Paris, again, this is Legitimate Matters. Get involved. Thank you for watching. Thank you.